Open. Yo, how are you gonna start the video like that? This euphoria ass intro, like. This is an irresponsible thing to say, but if we're going to talk about it, we might as well do so honestly. Right. Smoking creates a temporary problem and offers an instant solution. Once your mm. brain is used to nicotine, for up to 72 hours, you're itchy, nervous, and stressed. But one drag and instantly. Look at the brain. Uh, like this is such like. This reminds me of fish hooks. Like they're editing. Good. Helps you focus at work and is an excuse to take mm. regular breaks, which is good for you mentally. It's a tool against boredom, it suppresses your appetite, it makes bad moments feel less bad and good moments better. It's social, fun together, and a good way to make friends as smokers always group up. Mm. Your lips are one of the most sensitive parts of your body, and putting something between them is deeply satisfying. So now that we've given smoking an honest and Put something between them. Why they gotta make it like they don't have to animate it like this, Jack? Like the chat. Come on, this this is so unnecessary. Like let's smoke a cigarette together to see why it makes you feel so good and what exactly. They said let's do it together. Body when you do it. Okay. The best worst thing. A cigarette is dried tobacco leaves mixed with chemicals that make it burn slowly, helping okay. you to absorb nicotine. And flavors that make the but I would never smoke cigarettes like like I don't know like in the past I've smoked ganja um through papers I like papers I don't like I never did the nicotine thing like like I've smoked rillos and woods but not because I rode them or want or liked that I would always do papers so I never had the nicotine addiction which is why I feel like it was super easy for me to stop Cigarette smoke is 95% gases like carbon dioxide and water vapor. The remaining 5% are particles called tar, tar, and they contain the magic source, carbon or nitrogen compounds filled with nicotine. As you inhale, billions of particles interact with everything they pass through, getting stuck on your throat, tongue, and trachea. Your lungs are like big and flaky. Ew, they made them look like SpongeBob. <laughs> and have a filter and barrier. The cilia cells Their animation is covered by a layer of mucus. They trap dust or bacteria to be swept away in a sort of dance. It's so the interesting. Particles land in the mucus and turn into a sticky brown substance that stops the dance and paralyzes, paralyzes the cilia, them to get deeper into your lungs to the yeah. alveoli. Alveoli are little air sacs, and here's where your actual breathing happens. They have it looks so much like Adventure Time, like how they animate it. Your blood and carbon dioxide can leave. Now the magic is released. Nicotine. Nicotine passes through the thin walls and enters your bloodstream, reaching your brain so fast that it feels instant. Mm -hmm. The positive effect arrives right away. If your brain had a control board, smoking would be like pressing all the buttons at once. Releasing Ooh, the okay. To affect your whole body. Epinephrine and cortisol make Not the heart doing jump rope. Like what? Uh, what's that uh, Disney movie called? Isn't it called Jump In? Faster, and your body Double Dutch heart is crazy. Dopamine makes you feel happy and relaxed and reduces your appetite. Beta endorphins reduce pain and stress. What is this? They massaging him? Nicotine excites and calms you at the same time. You become more alert and able to focus. Your nerves become more sensitive to pleasant Kiss sensations. Then your whole body relaxes. Yo. Together, all of these effects just feel great. But your brain immediately tries to return to normal and, and pushes back, back against the effects of nicotine, which is fine as long as you have nicotine inside your blood. But once its effects wear off, your body is left overcompensating, creating a massive imbalance Bruh. in itself. The more you smoke, the harder your body tries to push back, which is why nicotine is so addictive. You stop feeling like yourself without it. It's still great, but now you also need it just to feel normal. Mm. If that was all smoking did, well, that would be kind of okay. They do not have to do this super close-up intimate shot. Like, come on, y'all. Nicotine comes with thousands of different chemical buddies. Cadmium, lead, arsenic, and cyanide, hydrogen peroxide, or nitrogen oxides cause damage wherever they end up. Carbon monoxide reduces how much oxygen your blood can carry. In your lungs, your cilia cells... Chat, are y'all smokers? 
Like y'all smoke cigarettes? Like I feel like if you smoke weed, you just smoke weed. But if you smoke cigarettes, you're a smoker. Like with the fucking like a K E R like <laughs> Smoker. Avioli, avioli. Can't handle this sort of stress. A few of your tiny air sacs pop like balloons, causing irreparable damage. Your body needs to get rid of all this tar immediately. Goblet cells pump out extra mucus to compensate, which makes breathing harder, so you start coughing to get the tar and mucus out. Mm -hmm. Your immune system activates and macrophages begin eating up tar particles. Smokers have way more of these cleanup cells here because their lungs are literally full of dirt. Wow. But the nicotine makes the macrophages sluggish and inefficient. Worse, they vomit chemicals that dissolve your lung tissue and cause tiny wounds that turn into scar tissue. Scars in your lungs are bad if you like breathing. If you like breathing. <sighs> nicotine raises I think I like it. I mean, causing blood vessels all over your body to constrict. Meanwhile, toxic chemicals get stuck, causing countless tiny wounds all over your body that will turn into scars. Those scars leak proteins that create random blood clots, making your blood vessels even, even narrower. narrower. Constricted and narrow vessels put a lot of stress on Ew. your body. Ew. You're blowing air like him. And she's still smoking. Inside bro. your skin, the chemicals trigger enzymes that break down collagen, the protein that makes your skin elastic and smooth. Mm. This creates folds and wrinkles. Your skin ages wow. much quicker, and you look older sooner. Bro. The worst thing is what happens to your immune system. All over your body, it reacts to tiny wounds and activates, fighting an invisible enemy, damaging healthy cells in the, in the process. process. While at the same time, the nicotine makes it slow and sluggish. Worse at fighting actual diseases. We could go on like this, but this is getting old. <laughs> Ouch. Itself, this looks so painful. It's highly stressed and suffers some kind of permanent, permanent damage. damage. Over time, fats get stuck in the scars inside blood vessels, which get narrower and narrower until they start to suffocate your organs. Mm -hmm. Your overworked heart beats even harder to push blood through the extra resistance, and your blood pressure rises. So hard that fluids seep out of blood vessels into your lungs, which makes breathing even harder. The likelihood of a blood clot blocking a critical... This video makes me never want to smoke, bro. And it's titled, Smoking is Awesome. Holy shit. I, like, I'm so glad I quit this shit, bro. Rises enormously, which can eventually cause a heart attack or a stroke. Almost all smokers eventually get chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. So many of your alveoli are irreversibly destroyed that you're always short of breath, never able to breathe freely. Once you have it, it can only get worse, never better again. Aww. Finally, there's cancer. You get a sort of double whammy. On the one hand, you flood your whole system, and especially your lungs, with at least 70 highly cancer-causing chemicals. 70. And on the other hand, you paralyze the part of your immune system that kills and prevents cancer. This is why cancer is so likely in smokers. <laughs> Ultimately, smoking is uniquely dangerous among the things you are legally allowed to do. The average smoker loses 10 years of life, which means that some lose like 5 years, and others more like 25. Wow. You don't know which one will be you. But it cuts into your health span even more, making a much larger part of your life spent being chronically sick. Oof. So why don't smokers not just like stop doing it? Well, they're smokers addicted to it, huh? Is unhinged right? without discipline, which is unfair. Nicotine is one of the most physically and psychologically addictive substances known to humanity. If you ever start using it, you'll likely struggle with it for the rest of your life. The physical addiction lasts around three days, but the psychological addiction is much harder to overcome because you form strong Sheesh. habits and it's connected to many social cues, like hanging out with friends or winding down from work. And this was like, you know, it's so crazy. It's like kids in the sixth grade are like sneaking vapes into school and shit. Like, I'm like, yo, like your lungs aren't even done like cooking, bro. Like you're not even finished in the oven. Like. Relax. The perverse thing is that almost everybody who starts smoking starts smoking as a teenager. Yeah. The tobacco industry has to target vulnerable brains and get them hooked on the pleasurable effects of nicotine or it would go away. Today, about a billion people will light a cigarette, which is a lot, but a at billion. least the trends are looking good. In 2000, 34% of adults were smoking. In 2020, it was only 23%. 
Still, in 2023, about 8 million people died from it. Wow. But it's not all doom and gloom. There are many successful strategies for quitting. We've put links to some in the video description. People who stop smoking by the age of 35, on average, don't die earlier than non-smokers. If you're older than that, even quitting late can add years to your life. It's a bit like with climate change. Everyone wow. counts. But look at this animation. This first person point of view flying bird, Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, it's so woo. I love it. Has already been done. We're not the morality or health police. You do you. But at, at least, least be, be aware, aware of what exactly you're doing and why you're doing it. Most of you watching this don't smoke, so, well, just maybe never try it. Smoking only really solves a temporary problem, but it creates loads of permanent ones. Mm -hmm. Damn. That's Kurikazar in a nutshell. They always gonna let you know in a nutshell.